Welcome to my course on academic writing in APA style. My name is Bernd Hiesen. The website I fucking love science has more than 23 million fans on Facebook. Science is fun and new academic publications tell you how early stages of Alzheimer's can be detected in urine or that researchers found a happiness gene. Yes, every academic work contributes to develop and share something important. Science is exciting. The first step is uncovering new insights and the second step is publishing the new knowledge to share it with others. Learning proper academic writing is the foundation to do this. Since you are listening to this lecture, you may already be preparing to write your thesis or a paper. Let us take a look at the course outline. Enjoy my course, have fun. I welcome you to part one of this course. I will share with you some extracts from my book academic writing in APA style. APA is the leading standard in social sciences and the seventh edition of the publication manual is the foundation for this course. Many students feel extremely challenged when writing their very first paper or thesis. I will help you to manage these challenges. What will I share with you? In part one you will learn about the value of academic writing and publishing how to achieve an excellent grade. I will explain the quality criteria for academic papers and thesis to you, why it is important to avoid plagiarism and how to cite properly based on the APA standard. In part two you will learn where you can download Microsoft Word for free about the advantages of using the Word template Thesis APA 7 and Student Paper APA 7 and where you can download the Word templates. My philosophy is sharing knowledge adding value. Consequently, I provide complimentary video lectures as well as self-exam quizzes on my website prescient.pro to help students on their way. I also develop word templates to write in APA style which get you kick-started. I wish you great success and much fun in your research and writing process. Against some common belief, science is not theoretical even though it is based on many theories. Research is performed to solve real problems and improve our lives. Before academics should start on their research journey, they should be familiar with the underlying quality criteria as well as the value of academic integrity and ethics. From there they can start planning the effort and their writing. It also makes sense to have a quality review before publication or turning in a paper for grading. Do you know what makes you happy or successful? Often it is much easier to know what makes us unhappy and what is not successful. This is called the via negativa. The same applies to research and publication. We use examples of what shall be avoided in order to reach high quality work. The philosophy is to eliminate the errors and the result will be great. Relevance is the most important quality criteria. Every scientific work shall contribute new knowledge and help to solve a problem. Therefore, the very first task before starting any research effort is to justify how your work is expected to contribute to solve a problem. Objectivity is another quality criteria. It describes the need to remain objective and without judgment. Conciseness is valuable. Try to keep your writing as short and informative as possible. Formal correctness means to follow the guidelines and avoid formal errors. This is an obvious one. Currentness describes the expectation that an author should include the most current sources and knowledge. Any academic publication should have a clear outline and structure, obviously. The text should also be formatted properly and the language should be precise, exactly expressing what the author intends to state. Comprehensibility is essential as well to allow readers to follow the reasoning of the author. To validate the arguments and facts requires the citation of all used sources. Why should someone care to provide references for all fact statements? It takes so much time and is boring, isn't it? No, there are good reasons to provide references. Citations are signposts as well as acknowledgements. A signpost tells the location of your source and allows readers to deepen their knowledge. An acknowledgement honors and gives credit to the originator of an idea. Not giving credit is stealing academic credit. If you invested years in research, would you like someone to steal your ideas? No, for sure you would not. 
Now that you understand the importance of proper citations, it should be much easier to accept the work it takes to do it properly. Agreed? Not citing sources adequately would be misleading others to believe you would be the person that should be given credit for an idea. This is called plagiarism and a violation of academic integrity. Plagiarism can appear in different forms. It is your task as the author of your work to avoid it. Quotations of sources can be direct, word for word as the original source, or paraphrasing, using content from a source but phrased in your own words. Citations appear differently based on the citation standard. I focus on the APA standard in the following. Planning your work is difficult. Why? Several reasons. Wishful thinking, lack of experience, unexpected events, and many more reasons. The following process may be helpful for you. You should start to review the literature to develop your own knowledge on the topic. Then you select a topic together with your supervisor, listen to them carefully, since they have much more experience, decide for a suited design, and once all this is done, the writing should be easy. Why is academic writing different from writing in general? The foundation for good writing I explained in the APA manual in combination with my book. The APA style is a set of guidelines for clear and precise scholarly communication. Based on the APA manual, publications require certain components and should follow a standardized format. Here you see the components. They can be mandatory or optional. The word templates provided by me already contain these elements in proper APA format, so you can get started right away. The APA manual describes formatting rules for margins, typefaces, line spacing, page numbering, figure and table captions and much more. The word templates provided by me offer specific formatting styles which assist with the proper APA formatting. Was riding a bike easy right away? No, not in the beginning. But you enjoyed it once you learned it, how to do it. Didn't you? The same applies to writing. You first need to understand the APA rules and then you need to learn how to use your tools for text processing. Microsoft Word has specific functions to manage your sources, insert citations and create a table of content as well as your references in APA format, just to name a few. Finding errors is important. It is a foundation for improvement. Therefore, perform your own quality review and give your work to another person to read it and provide feedback before you publish it or turn your paper in for grading. Grading should therefore not be focused only on the grade, but be transparent, detailed and helpful. The feedback you receive from your supervisor is another chance to learn. Now the templates for Microsoft Word, as well as the self-exam quizzes and video lectures can be found on my website www.presigned.pro. I wish you all the best on your scientific journey and with your writing.